happy Black Friday. Happy Thanksgiving. How is everyone? I hope you guys are all doing good. I hope you're doing good, good, good. Hey, Susan. Hi, how are you? I'm sorry, I had a I had a turkey emergency. <laughs> so ridiculous. So how has everyone's Thanksgiving been? Hi, Shannon. Yeah, no, I'm sorry, you guys. I got I got a little bit carried away. I got carried away with my reorganization, cleaning, and everything that I did. And anyway, I, I ran didn't know what time it was. Hi, Liz. Hi, Claudia. Hi, Susan. Hi, Bet. Hi, Renee. You're so stuffed. Oh, I'm actually, we're actually cooking another turkey as we speak. Is that ridiculous or what? We are cooking another turkey. Hi, Shannon. Hi, Nancy. Happy Thanksgiving. Hi, Claudia. Besitos to you, too. Hi, Alta. So, how are you guys? Tell me about your week. I want to hear about your Thanksgiving. Was it awesome? We all need to reorganize. Oh my God, you have no idea. Care, my whole, it's been crazy. So if you guys hear a bunch of noise in the background, it's because we have to, we're cooking another turkey and we have to put it back in the oven. Anyway, and, and Hottie's doing it because I threw my shoulder out and I can't even pick up a turkey. I can't even pick up the turkey even if I wanted to. Hi, Mary Lou. Hi, Linda. You had your you had a fa fabulous time, Shannon. Relaxing. Mine was, you know, I can't say it. you know holidays are relaxing. Hi, Karen. How are you? You finished eating leftovers. Well, we gave all of our leftovers to the kids. I'll tell you the whole story. Hi, Janine. Hi, Pam. So you know, right now sort of starts our busy season here because the whales are here, and so lots of people travel here, and so. It just so happened that my daughter and Hottie both had the day off yesterday, which doesn't ever happen. I don't think I've ever had a Thanksgiving off in the whole time I've ever worked here, um, living here. But they did, so that was really awesome. And so I, got, I told you guys that my 19-year-old daughter, she invited a whole bunch of friends, like people that don't have any place to go for Thanksgiving, over, which was really great. So we had a bunch of people, which was great, and, you know, a lot of them are kids, you know, like, say, 19, 20, 21, and, you know, some of them are here, some of them go to college with her, some of them are just here, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to put my desk back, I actually cleaned my desk off, not that it's so clean, but it's so much better than it was, um, um, so guys, just give me one second. Um, just put it back on, put it back on and put a timer on for like 45 minutes. No, but I can get up and do it. Okay. Yeah, 45 minutes. I'm sorry, guys. So Hadi has to go to work today. And so back up. So I told you guys that my the, my 19 year old daughter, she the one that goes to college here, she and her friends all um if you shop at local grocery stores, um if you spend so much money, they give you free turkey coupons, okay? So they've been racking up their free turkey coupons, okay? So we already had bought a turkey and stuff, but so she brought me numerous turkeys, <laughs> aside from the one that we had and our, our, the one that we had already bought. And she decided that, you know, she asked me would I please cook them, and I said, sure, no problem. So I started, I started cooking turkeys. Oh, you have to tell us how you saved all your money, Shannon. I want to hear about it. So we started cooking all the turkeys, and then one of the other kids was like, they wanted a turkey. So what happened was we ended up cooking all these multiple turkeys, and I even, oh, awesome. And so all the kids took all the leftovers, So and I'm still cooking turkeys because they're thawed out. So the one we cooked today was like 25 pounds, and it's not quite done, but it's, anyway, it's too much for me to take out of the oven, so Hottie's going to take it out and then 
empty some of the, the grease out of it, you know, the juice out of it, and put it back in because it's not quite done. So that's what, that's what we were talking about because he's got to go to work. So we had tons of people. We had lots of food and lots of leftovers, and I packed all the leftovers up, and I gave them to all the kids. So today my daughter goes, oh, I want a turkey sandwich, and I would given all the turkey away, so I had to make, <laughs> I had to give all the turkey away yesterday. So I had to make, so it forced me to cook the turkey today. So there you go. Now I don't know what I did to my shoulder. I'm going to, hopefully this next week I'll get it dealt with. So you, Shannon says that she got a, a Cricut Air 2. Awesome. Why can't you have it until Christmas, Shannon? I would just wrap the box and play. Hi, Emily. Hi, Brenda. Everybody say hi to Pat. We love you, Pat. Happy Thanksgiving, Pat. Pat's having her, her, her treatment. She always has it on Tuesdays and Fridays. You needed more turkey today, so you have everything else. We gave ours all away. It's so ridiculous. I'm, the kids were so happy. You have no idea. Susan saying hi, Pat. And Crafty Panda saying hi. And Karen saying hi, Pat. Shanna needed more turkey. Well, you can always make another one. Nancy saying, hi, Pat. Linda saying, hi, Pat. We miss you and big hugs. So, um, I thought maybe what we would work on today is um, those of you that are participating in our secret sister swap, secret sister Santa swap. Liz says, thanks for typing for Pat. Hi, Pat. Mary Lou says, hi, Pat. Shannon, you'll have to tell us how you like your new, your new Cricut. We would like to know. Hi, Anne. Hi, Alta. Emily saying hi, Pat. Okay, so I did do a tiny, how many of you guys did a tiny bit of, Susie, Renee saying hi, Pat. How many of you guys did a tiny bit of Black Friday shopping? Did anybody do Black Friday shopping at all? Did anyone? So I have, you know, I've got all these things to send to my secret sister and my secret Santa, and I'm not, I, you know, I want to work on them a little bit more. I didn't, haven't done any crafting since I saw you guys last on Tuesday. All I did was, because my shoulder's been so bad, all I did was clean up a little and try to take it easy. Hi, Jane. You did some chic, what, it, what, kind, what did you get on you? Well, you did because you bought your Cricut, right? You avoid it like the plague. Susan did no shopping. Well, I didn't go out and do shopping, guys. I did online. <laughs> I did not go out. So that was the best part, too, yesterday. So my daughter and all her friends, like the mall, we have one little tiny mall here, but it was gonna, it was open until 2 in the morning. So after our Thanksgiving dinner, which we had late, because some of the kids did work in the day and we wanted everybody to come. Hi, Scotty. Scotty did some shopping. What did you buy? What did you buy, Scotty? Care went to Tuesday morning as if you needed more supplies. Hey, I totally get it. Not that I want to enable any of you guys, but um, Sizzix is having a free shipping with a $25 purchase for the, I think it's for this weekend. I don't know. I, yesterday, maybe yesterday and today. And they've got some really good prices on um, some dies if you have a die cutting machine. And they sell other things too. Emily says, no way, she's not a shopper. Well, I'm not a shopper either, Emily, but I have an 11-year-old, and, you know, Christmas does come. And, you know, although my older kids don't really want anything, you have to get a little bit for her. Hi, Southern Princess. Tell us your first name. You bought a big floor rug, Scotty? Oh, that's good. I shopped online, but this was so funny. So the kids all had dinner, and we had lots of food, mass quantities of food. I think I made, you guys, I made, oh, my gosh. I don't know how many pounds of stuffing I made, but it was a lot. And they left me a tiny bit, but they they were so happy to take it all. Um, so they went to, after they, after they went to, after we had dinner and played games and we we had a really nice time, 
they all wanted to go do their, because they all work today, they all wanted to go do their Black Friday shopping, so they went to the mall. And so I said, well, leave your leftovers here and get them on the way back. So they... So they, so they came back at midnight, guys, to show me what they'd bought. I was like, oh, I was already in bed, but I got up and, and, and looked at all their stuff. Oh, that's nice, Alta. Alta said she spent the day today helping her brother find an apartment. Oh, that's awesome. You're so nice. <laughs> Scotty said her neighbors made a kitchen island. They made themselves a kitchen island. <laughs> so you're done? Okay. So I'll tell you what I bought online. My day, my online shopping was not, I didn't buy anything for myself, but I bought, um, I bought a couple of dresses and some shorts. You know, guys know I live in Hawaiian Islands, and my poor little 11-year-old, she's taken a growth spurt, and nothing fits her. So all of her regular shorts, she wears shorts to school because it's hot here. And so all of her regular shorts are all too um, are all too small. So I shopped online. Old Navy's having a big clearance sale, and I bought her some. I bought her two pair of jean shorts and a dress. Wasn't that exciting? That is what I bought her. So is that ridiculous? But that is what I bought her. So I'll show you guys where I'm at with my secret sister swap. And so these tags, I'm going to wrap some stuff around. I thought maybe I might paint them. I do have a die cutting machine and I have this tag die. It's an old Sizzix tag die, but I really like it. And I try to cut out my mailboxes that I get. You know, the things people have sent me. This is where the label was and I tore it off. Um, I try to recycle it that way and I thought I'd wrap some fibers and ribbon around it. I have to find a way, I'm going to mount my, I want to find a way to mount my little tab, my um, tiles. I want to mount them on a, need to make some packaging for that so I can mount my tiles. I'm going to still have to finish them. And then I, somebody gave me, Patricia actually gave me, if you're here Patricia, hey. Um, hi Tiffany. Tiffany, we've done Christmas after Christmas, and that is super awesome. Yeah, I like this shape too, ma'am. You know, what's really cool about it is I've used this tag die for many times, and it, it, it makes really, I like it to send stuff, make it out of packet, like to make packaging tags with it, like really thicker packaging than the normal cereal box. And I wrap fibers and stuff around it, and I like that. So, and then I did, Patricia gave me some Project Life cards, and I glued them, I glued some of them together because they're a little flimsy, and I started putting stuff on them. I thought I'd do a couple of those for her. This is what I have so far, and I'm not done by any means, but this is just like the sort of minimum stuff for the swap. Lisa already sent out her secret sister because she's so far away. Well, you know, this is for U.S. people. This was for U.S. to U.S. people, this size envelope, this 9 by 12. Um, they, when you're sending it out international, you just had, I didn't want you to do really exceed a lot in lot and in hefty postage. Because, um, at, you know, postage is expensive. And so this size is under $7.00. Um, this postage is under seven dollars the size I, I think we put the parameters try not to spend more than 15 on international postage from US to international and I don't know what is postage from each other well mine's not done yet mine is not done yet mine is Mine is good too. So I'm going to show you guys what I have in it so far. I want to, sorry guys, my, my little, my little one is spending the night with friends. And so she has dietary restrictions. So she's texting me, asking me if she can eat this or eat that. 
Okay, so this is what I have so far, and I have a bunch more stuff that I want to put in it. And, you know, this is what I, I wanted to show you guys what I do if I'm going to send them US to US. So what I do is I bend these, and it's totally legal. I bend these, the bottom like this. Can you guys see it? Okay, this is what I usually do, is I bend them like this, and then, and then I fold them over like this, and I fold them over like this, and I tape it with clear packing tape, and it's good, okay? And then, and then look how much room you have inside here. You can fit a lot. I have sent some hefty journals in these, okay? So... That's how I stuff mine so full, okay? I'll show you guys when I totally get it done, but I've sent some big fat journals in these. Just like this, I tape it and I tape it. The thing is you've got to make sure that it seals, it, that you get the sealing part over the top. So you don't want to make it super, 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 you know what I mean? It's going to be fatter. And then you take your clear packing tape and you want to put clear packing tape. You definitely want to put clear packing tape and reinforce the sides too because this particular cardboard, if it gets wet, it comes apart so anyway that's how I cheat they also have one a little bit bigger than this I think it's like 9 by 15 you can cut just a little bit more than that the cool the cool thing about it is is that you can put a lot in it you spent $40 to send yours Lisa I can totally relate I'm the person that I have is also not in the US but I wanted to show you guys um, what a US one would look like. I'm sure it's going to cost me a lot. This is a 9 by 12 and a half. 9 and a half by 12 and a half. You can fit a lot in here. So on Tuesday, hopefully I'll have hopefully I'll have enough to put in this one and I'll show it to you and I'll show it to you full so you can see what it's like. Hi Jillian. This is to send to the U.S. It's like six. It's under seven dollars. I think this. I think the nine by twelve by nine is. I think uh, Renee is saying it's six dollars and sixty-five cents. It goes up to forty pounds. Okay, forty pounds you can put in here. No, seventy pounds you can put in here. I don't can't imagine you could fit seventy pounds worth of stuff in here, but you can. And the the bigger one is the same. 70 pounds yeah you get these free at the post office and if and you can also get them shipped to your house just don't pay for them you guys they're free Lisa you know what I appreciate you saying that and I'm, I'm sure Santa's gonna send you some extra love hi Kayla it does cost a lot you guys I sent a journal to a friend in Canada and it cost me $75 to mail her a journal she was ill, and I felt like, you know what, I'll do it anyway, you know, whatever, but it was $75 to mail it. So if you're going to send your stuff international, send, try to send it flat. I sent some really beautiful painted papers and stuff to a friend in Canada, and I put it in a 9 by 12 business envelope, and I sandwiched it flat. Like I put a piece of, uh, you know, something thicker on top, like a cardstock on the top and the bottom, and I made sure everything laid flat, and I put documents only on the outside, and I think I sent it for 7 or $8. So it just depends upon... Aloha Friday. Lisa, you're a rock star, and I'm sorry it cost you so much to mail it. From Canada, everything's expensive. You have to pay for them. Yeah, I understand. I totally get it. Honey, Tiffany, put anything you want in it. You can totally put cards in it. I'm just going to show you what I've done so far. This is not, you guys, I'm not done yet. Okay, this is just what I'm doing so far. So I have my envelopes, and I did put more than five. I know I said five, but that was just to give you guys a minimum. So this envelope, what's kind of cool is I started putting together a whole bunch of collage stuff in this envelope. So I'm going to continue to put, like, little bits and pieces for collage in this envelope. And I'm going to fill this envelope with collage bits okay so that's what I'm going to do in this envelope and this envelope was from a calendar but I thought it was kind of cute it's like a little children's drawing on a calendar so that's going to be one envelope that has stuff in it and this one I put in some project life cards I that I had 
and I put in a little paper bag and then I put in some tabs you know that she can fold up and use or use as a pattern some of them are made from painting papers and some of them are things you know scrapbooking paper or what have you Mary Kay is saying she found a $30 flat rate bubble padded to international. Ooh, Mary Kay, can you post that in our group? Because I bet you all of us would want to know what that is. Did it, what's the, um, what is the weight parameter? So I'm going to just keep adding little things like that to this envelope until I get it. Now, these are the envelopes that don't have anything in them. This, this one I really liked. It was from a magazine here, but it said Aloha. And it has a hibiscus and then a little small painty paper one. And this is another one that has like Hawaii things and a jelly printed one. Then the airplane one I made last week, which I thought was kind of fun. This one's also from here. And then this. So this will be my five envelopes plus the ones that have like the bits and pieces in it. And then I started doing some more library pockets. I would like to add a few more. I added, gave her the fun ones that I liked that I thought were funny. They're kind of funny. And then I thought maybe I'd do some painted ones. These are the ones that I made that have notches in them. And then just one, two library style. And this one is, I don't know what kind of notch style. I don't know the style of it. But I'll make a few more of those. And hi, Grace. Yes, Miss Shannon, what are you saying? Yeah, yeah, Kara, we have a Facebook group. It's called Crafting Mamas. And then this is an envelope that I made. Remember when I made these out of, I got something in the mail and I showed you guys how we took it apart and I made a template. So I may make her a few more of these and may even put a template, this template in. This is a great template for um, magazine pages, magazine page envelopes. So this is one of those. And then a couple of postcards from where, you know, from... A local photographer took us swimming with the whales here. Our Facebook group is called Crafting Mamas on Facebook. And you know what? If you go to the link in one of our, in after one of the videos, it's there. This is a postcard I started to make, just an art postcard. And I thought this would be what I'm going to write my about. You know, I told everybody to write a little bit about themselves to the person they're sending it to. So this is one of the postcards that I made out of junk mail, one of my junk mail postcards, and I thought I'd write about myself, you know, just whatever's going on. Well, Shannon, we're happy you're here. We're happy you're here. And then here's some Project Life ones that I started to alter, and then these are some more that I can alter that I've already glued together that I'm going to alter, so I could do that tonight. All right, and here's some of the painty papers that I included. I tried to go through and pick out some that... We're not all the same color palette because, you know, every day I paint them, they're all a little bit different. But I like these. I like these. And then I also included extra painting papers and these. Some of them are painted with acrylic paint. Some of these are done, like this is done with the spray inks that I love. You know, those Lindy Stamp Gang spray inks. And so I really like this. I tear these up and use them in my collage. That's what I do with them. But, you know, she can do with them whatever she wants. So I sent her more than five painty papers. So you know me, i got to, like, have my painty papers. Okay, and then I sent her these. These are kind of cool. This is called a cowboy without a horse. And it's just some old book pages, but I thought they were kind of cool. You know, I think she'll use those. And then I put a cosmetic company here that has... This fuchsia bag, this would make a great journal itself. So part of me thought about cutting it open and making her a journal. And then I thought, eh, maybe I'll let her do it. And then here's my napkins. Now somebody said they don't have napkins. So if you don't have napkins, get some plain tissue paper and stamp on it. The idea is just to share something with your person that doesn't have any, that doesn't have it. You know? So here's some napkins. And then I'm going to put all this back in here. And then here's my book pages. And I went, here's a few embellishments. I'm going to send her some, I have some eyeballs and stuff like that. I'm going to put my, so I have to give her some of my signature eyeballs, right? Because 
You guys know how much I love making eyeballs, right? The eyeball embellishments. So here's a few embellishments that I'm going to send to her. And then I have a couple of other ones that I've already made, but they're drying over there with um, diamond glaze on them. So they're paper clip embellishments, right? And I need to figure out how I'm going to, you know, package them so they look nice. And then some dictionary pages, Japanese book pages, children's book pages, French book pages. This I thought was hilarious. It's this guy on this. So ridiculous, but it would look cool in a journal. What did I miss? What did you guys say? I'm missing it. You guys are talking faster than I'm watching, so I'm not watching it, so I missed what you guys said. Let me go up a little bit. Let me see. Um, what's intimidating or inspiring? What are you talking about, Liz? I missed that part. Everybody's creativity is awesome, and I don't want anybody to be intimidated. This is just supposed to be fun. This is not supposed to be like a stressful thing. What's the value of painting papers? I don't know. That's really it. That's a good one, Lisa. I don't know. You guys are so funny. I don't know what the value of painting papers are. Um, so this is one of those dictionary pages. So do you guys ever have any beeswax? Have you ever used our encyclopedia page? If you've ever used beeswax and you iron beeswax on the top of one of these sort of translucent onion skin papers, you can see right through it. They make gorgeous journaling backgrounds. I'll do that one time with you guys. I just don't have my iron set up over here. And then another uh, French book page. And then just some kind of like little bits and stuff from where I live. Like little island stuff and Hawaii stuff. I mean, this is what I have so far. You know, and another Japanese book page. And I have my art tiles that I have here. And then I have the tags that I'm going to put the fabrics around. So this is just what I have so far. So I could work on altering these today if I wanted. I need another one. This one's a little bit thin. But I could go ahead and alter it and then look for some more later. And then my art tiles. And I'm going to make a few more of those. And then some of these tags. Then I also have some tags that I've painted on that I thought I would send her put in the box. You know, and you know, she can do with them as she will. And then maybe one that's not. Maybe a few that aren't. So, I mean, that's just what I have going on in my box so far. I know they said it was covered to $100, but that was just normal coverage. Oh, that's so funny, Lisa. What's very high, Linda? Oh, the, the value of painting papers? <laughs> well, to me it is because I love painting papers. So, like, whoever sends me something, your painting papers I'm going to treasure, even if I take them apart and use them in my... Even if I use them in my collages. Well, that's just the beginning. You guys, I have fabric galore and stuff I'm going to add to it. And then I have some stuff from where I live. So, you know, I thought I would add a few of these. It just depends upon the weight but you know I thought I'd add you know we have these kind of fun travel brochures and they have like cool stuff in them so I'll show you guys when I totally get mine done okay hi Joyce so that's what that's what I've got going on in my that's what I've got going on in my world my world of painty papers and ridiculousness so <coughs> I don't know I could do some, I could alter some of these, and I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit, <coughs> a little bit about our tag a day challenge. Hi, Trays. Oh, you have a good, we're hoping you're having a good day too. So, Nana, people are sending you stuff, and they're hoping it gets there by the time your deadline for your um, for your challenge, your giveaway. And if you guys haven't headed over, um, it's Nana's place is doing a fabulous giveaway challenge, and I think you guys should head on over and check her out. It'd be something super fun for everybody to do. So I'm going to talk a little bit about our tag a day challenge. I'm going to, I'll alter these today. I'll work on these a little bit and then maybe I'll work on some tags. So you guys know, I, I shared with you like my ridiculous craziness. 
my ridiculous craziness about um, check my volume. Oh, you guys, seriously? I'm like so stupid. I should always know to check it before I start. I'm sorry. Oh, no. Have I been whispering? And you guys, I mean, I'm talking loud here, but let me just fix it. Sorry. You guys, it changes itself all on its own. I don't know. It's just stupid. Okay, I fixed it. So Tracy, Janine says she's getting one to you. Jane is getting one to you. She says the deadline's December 10th. So I think that means you have to have it mailed by December 10th. And then she's doing a drawing on December 15th. So I think it, if you guys get it in the mail soon, she'll get it. Is that better? Hi, Lori. Okay, so first of all, let me talk about the Christmas card exchange. Okay, hi, Shannon. I'll talk about that, and then I'll talk about this. Okay, <clears throat> I'm going to put, it'll be pinned in the top now that we've uh, gotten our, um, we've gotten our Secret Santa thing out of the way. So for those, if you go to Crafting Mamas on Facebook, we'll do a Christmas card. If you'd like to receive or give Christmas cards, We'll put your name on a list there. Many people, you know, I don't send, honestly, I don't send Christmas cards anymore. I used to send, have a huge, massive list of people that I would buy and send Christmas cards new to. I don't do it anymore. Now I send a handful of cards or I send them to my friend's kids, really. Because, let's just face it, you know, there was a time when you'd get hundreds and hundreds of Christmas cards. So, for those of us that don't really celebrate the holidays, but... <clears throat> or have family to celebrate the holidays with. I just thought it would be a nice way to share, you know, the holiday spirit. So there will be, hi, Amberly. So there'll be a, so there'll be a, a list and you can add, you can also add somebody and you can write give and receive, meaning that if you sign up that you'll send and receive and then there's some people like, I'd like to include my friend who is elderly. Now, I know she doesn't know us. She's not going to send a card. But if you felt the need or you had an extra card and you wanted to send it to her, that would be great. So you can add yourself to the card list and write give and receive. And you have to make sure you put your address there or put it in the rack happy mail list. That's the big thing. You have to have put it in the rack and happy mail list. Um, you can put, like I'm going to put my friend uh, that... She won't be sending anything, but it would be nice. I'll put a little blurb, you know. She lives alone. She won't receive any cards this year unless we send them to her. And then if you want to send her a card, that would be super awesome. You could also include your children if you wanted to. I know everybody's kids like to get a card. If you wanted to put, like, please send one to, or, you know, a child in need, you know. And it's not for a gift. It's just a card, okay, just a card. And it can be handmade or store-bought. There's no um, preference, okay? So I'll make sure that you have that. Does that work? Hi, Dawn. You guys are so funny. So anyway, let's talk about our Tag A Day Challenge. So today, if you guys want to make along with me, I'm going to alter some Project Life cards for my Sacred Sister giveaway. I may make a few of these envelopes and I can scan or draw a template and put it in our files on Crafting Mamas. Um, if you'd like, I'm going to make some altered tags. I'm going to talk about our tag giveaway and I don't know. We'll see how much time we have. You know, I always have grandiose plans and then the time gets away from you. So for those of you that are joining in for the Christmas card swap there or a Christmas card exchange or Christmas card um, give just go over to Crafting Mamas on Facebook group and join for those of you that have already signed up for the secret Santa swap that sign up the deadline is already passed you just have to send out your package by the 15th and please send me the tracking number for the package that you send. If you're sending US to US, it should be in a priority mail um, envelope and it will come with tracking. If you're sending it international, just send me a receipt, a picture of the receipt to um, myself or Susan over in our Facebook group, okay? So there you have it. That was like the big 411. So I wanna talk about this tag a day challenge. So you guys know my big ridiculousness, right? I was going through my own ridiculousness, but it's now over, and I'm super happy about that. 
Well, in the midst of my big ridiculousness, I, I would get so caught up in my life that I wouldn't art every day. I would never, and I and I love you. You guys know art. Arting is my life, and I enjoy arting tremendously. But it just my day would get away, or my time would get away, and I just wouldn't get to art. So I'm going to do a tag a day challenge, and what I'm hoping to do is I'm going to art and make a tag every single day of this coming year. Well, I'm going to start now. Anyone's welcome to join. Um, the only rule is that you enjoy yourself, have fun, and if you do decide to uh, create a tag a day along with me, um, we'll do some periodic giveaways so that it just inspires each other. Now then, please post your tags in, in our Facebook group or post them in our, um, in our Facebook group or, or do a video response on YouTube. But I'm gonna do it one a day. That's my goal for the for the net for this from now until I don't know, until next year. And my goal is to is to art at least, you know, 15 minutes a day making a tag. And you know you can journal on the back or not. It's just small art, you guys. The whole idea is just to get yourself making art. You know, and you don't have to make yours out of recycling just because I'm obsessed with recycled materials. You don't have to be. You can make yours out of anything, okay? I don't want you to feel like you have to make yours just because I'm obsessed with making mine out of recycled recycled things doesn't mean you have to, okay? So the whole idea is just, it's about creativity. It's not, um, it's not supposed to be stressful. It's supposed to be fun. So I'm going to make a few right here, right now with you. And then, you know, may, it depends upon, I mean, my plans are that I'm going to share prompts and different things with you, but we'll see how that goes. So today I'm just going to make some tags. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, I'm going to do some, alter some of my Project Life cards for my secret Santa. I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to make a couple, make some tags with you and make along. And Lisa says, my Kellogg's one don't need anything done to it. Well, this is just what I use. You know, I use this as my background. I like making, I do make them on plain scrapbook paper too. But can I tell you that I enjoy the altering of like a heavier, you know, a heavier body thing. I enjoy altering it better. I don't know why. But I do, but I do. So I'm going to let these dry and I don't know, you know, I just have, you guys, I just, for me, I know art is my stress relief. So I don't know about you guys, but I use it as that. I use it as not just my creative outlet, but my stress relief. And I figure I can commit to 15 minutes a day. That is nothing, right? I can fight. And if I prepare myself ahead of time and I say, okay, I'm going to art every single day. I'm going to I'm going to art 15 minutes a day no matter what. I'll do it. Oh no. What what did I miss? I missed you guys. What do we need to change the name of the group to what? Hi, Bet. I'm addicted to painting papers too, Liz. I can't even tell you. <clears throat> I paint papers daily. It definitely, painting papers is definitely a stress relief for me. Definitely, definitely. In fact, I may use, I have a pile of painting papers right here. I may use some of those to cover my tags too. I don't know. I like to collage on my tags. Do you guys like to do that? Right now, I'm into this kind of crazy neon colors. So don't ask me why. Does everybody have their own, like, when you're going through, like, changes of, like, what you're going to paint or what you're going to put on your, what you're going to put on your, your tags and stuff like that? I am going to, I think I'm going to cover mine with painting paper and work on, and work on that one, too. I think I'm going to do one of those like that. Lisa says she's been using non-sports cards on envelopes. Explain that to me on Painty Papers Anonymous. 
You're right, Susan. Maybe we should call it that. It's like so funny. But only we would understand it, right? Painting Papers Anonymous. Yeah, I have, a, I have an addiction to painting papers. I admit it. I, I think that, you know, finding creative ways to use your painting papers is super awesome, too. So, I'm going to... I'm going to use one of these on my tag, one of my tags, and, you know, there's no rules in painting papers, and I like that. You know me, I'm, like, all about the no rules. I can't, if somebody gave me a rule, I don't think I could follow it. It's like, I have a, I have a problem. You don't judge me? <laughs> okay, Scotty. I judge me. Is that ridiculous? I judge me. So what I'll do when I, for my daily uh, tag challenge, I'll put it, I'll just put a really super short YouTube video um, on my paint a tag a day. And so it'll be a super short video, like under 15 minutes, hopefully. Hopefully I'll get it down to where I can, I can art in my under 15 minute period. I mean, the whole thing is just a discipline for myself so that I actually carry it out, right? So that I actually do it and enjoy it. Do it, enjoy it. And I'm probably most likely going to use these rectangular tags, not because I don't have other die cuts so I can use tags, but so that... Um, So that I can, so that everybody will see, like, sometimes I think people just, sometimes I think that people just need to see you doing it, because when they see you doing it, then they do it. Okay? And I do have a hole punch. You guys, I cleaned off my desk. It's so clean. And I don't know what I do with a hole punch. Isn't that crazy? So my goal was to clean up everything before my guests came. And you guys, because of my shoulder, I, like, overdid it the first day, and then I couldn't. And then I didn't clean it up the rest of the time. Hey, will you do me a favor? There's going to be some kids that are going to knock on the door right now to ask for Sweetie. Can you tell them that she's not here? Anyway, you guys, so that my littlest one went to spend the night with a friend. Like the friend came for Thanksgiving. Her and her mom came over for Thanksgiving last night. And then she decided, they decided, the kids decided they wanted to sleep over. And I was like, okay, we well, guys can stay here. And her mom's like, oh, have them stay at my house tonight. They can stay with you tomorrow. And I'm like, okay. Well, they haven't come back yet today. They've been uh, swimming and partying. And, and on the side of the island I live on, it's been raining. So I'm sure she's having a great time. But all the neighborhood kids have been over here. I can't even tell you how many times looking for her today. And the dog. Okay, so the dog thinks that... She's a kid, too, so she thinks that she has to go. And so she's been like, every single time one of the kids knocks on the door, she barks because, you know, she thinks it's for her. And she whines and whines. It's been the whole day. So I'm going to start my tag. We'll consider today day one and paint eight. Obviously, I'm painting more than one tag today. But from tomorrow, I'll do a short video on painting a tag and... I'll post a group picture before and after. I can totally do that. Well, I can't point post the before because you can see the the before is is what it is right now. But I could do the after. But I can totally I can totally do that. I agree. Take your forensic accounting pages and paint over it, Jane, if you can. That's so funny. Well, okay. What am I me? What are you me doing? Look back at what Pat says. Oh, no, I missed it. I don't know if I can see what Pat says. Can you guys, can somebody tell me that? What did Pat say? Pat says there are 15 likes and, 16 pe and 60 people watching. Pat says, please give a thumbs up. Oh, that's so sweet. Pat, we love you. You're so rock, you're a rock star. Okay, so what? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah oh no okay you can't paint over your forensic things then okay Jane don't paint over them 
bedazzle them. Oh my gosh, you guys are so funny. Hi, Widow's Niche. The kids come to your house to play with your Don. Hi, Don. Do the kids come to your house to play with the dog? Okay, I would let the kids, normally Don, I would let the kids take the dog, but she's a rescue. And without my daughter being here, you know, if they wanted to come over and play with her at my house, I'd be so good. But she likes to run, and they run around with her all, all over the neighborhood, and it's, like, really funny. Pat, Bet says hi, and Grace says hi, and Bet says she loves you, and she just is thinking of you. So, anyway... So tomorrow I'll do a new, I'll do a video of my tag of my tag uh, for tomorrow too. But my that'll be just a plain video. It won't be a live one. So have you guys been eyeing what kind of sales they're having for your craft supplies? Like I was so I was kind of excited when I got my I got my Amazon. You know where it says like Amazon says oh we're having our pre Black Friday sale. So I was like oh man I can't wait to see what they have on sale. Guys, it was nothing I wanted. I was like, put some craft supplies on there, and I'd have been so there. Oh no, your grandson got bit today by hit by your by his dog. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, that's definitely not good. You guys, our little dog, she's bitten me, but that was when we first got her. She was really abused, but she loves the kids. Last night was a kind of the tried and true test. We had, I don't know. 12, I think 11 or 12 people, maybe even, maybe more than that at one point at our house. And, and, uh, I'm sorry, the only bad thing about using a credit card is it gets caught in the numbers. The paint gets caught in the numbers. If you paint messy like me. Well, anyway, so last night was a tried and true thing. I thought maybe I'd have to put her up, like kennel her or something. But you guys, she was so good, and she just went around to every single person. She hung out with a bunch of different people. Like, I would look over, and she'd be sitting on somebody else's lap. So I don't know what the people that that um had her did, because she's a very, very sweet dog. She hasn't bitten anyone. She bit, she bit me when we first got her, but one time it was when she was asleep, and another time was when I was scolding her. And she, she obviously used to be beaten because I was like talking to her and I was telling her, we don't even scold her anymore. I was just telling her, you know, not to do whatever it was she did. And she snapped at me, but she hasn't bit anyone else. And that was like, that was a good while ago. She's been really good. She was so good last night. I was so surprised. She went around to everybody, hung out with everybody, sat on their laps. It was Oh, we got the upper lip, two stitches. Oh, no. Mm. I'm sorry. It's awful, Linda. So are you going to, so Malia, the question is, are you going to go over to the, to the Dollar Tree and get some and shop? I am, we don't have anything like that here. I didn't have time when I went to Boston. If I'd had time, I would have gone to the Dollar Tree, but I didn't have time. You know what I'll show you guys on Tuesday? I made my own homemade texture paste a few months ago, and I made some really cool tags with them. The only problem with it is you have to use it up in one sitting. You can't, it doesn't uh, translate. You definitely have to use it up in one sitting, so... It's one of those things where you have to use your, your texture paste. You have to use it right away. Okay, so I have some of my tags going on here. I'm going to see if I can I'm gonna get some more paint out. I'm going to let them dry and get some more paint out and work on them. So, so I, I, I'm definitely going to break down and get myself those, those inks. The, not inks, the metallic rubs that we that we were talking about. Remember we were talking about those metallic rubs? That is what I'm going to get myself for Christmas. Mary Kay's going to the Dollar Tree. Hi, Lucinda. How are you? Hey, 
That's so awesome. Give Bailey our love. We're happy. We're happy you're here. I don't, dog bites are like no, those are no joke things, you guys. I don't, you know, I don't know. One of my daughters got bit really badly by a dog when she was little, and that was like so stressful. And I don't know, Linda, that's like, that's like heavy duty, you know? Like, I mean, I know it's a lesson for him, but still. I'm going to get out my... going to grab a couple of things from behind me. I'm sorry, you guys. You guys know how much I love painted papers. So what do you think? I have more painted papers behind me. Is that ridiculous? Hi, Carrie. If I had a Dollar Tree close to me, I would so definitely go. I would definitely, definitely go. It would be. It would have been on my list, like where most people were doing their Black Friday thing. I think going to the Dollar Tree would have been on my black, been on my Black Friday list. <laughs> Is that silly or what? Going to the Dollar Tree would have been on my Black Friday list. You guys, I wasn't feeling good enough to go. The kids wanted me to go so badly with them last night shopping, and I just I couldn't even muster it. You guys, I was in. This shoulder thing that I've done to myself, uh, I can't even tell you. It's so ridiculous. I really did throw my shoulder out. It has not been a good deal. Not been a good deal at all. But we'll see. We'll see what I um. We'll see how I how I how I recover from it. I hope that it's not going to be. It's, I hope it's going to be. Uh, I've had it for a few weeks. I'm hoping it's going to level out, and I'm going to feel. And I'm going to feel better. It's the pain part. It's like, ugh. I'm going to tell you right now, if Hottie hadn't helped me yesterday, there's just absolutely no way that I could have done any of the... I couldn't have done the Thanksgiving thing because I couldn't... You know, I didn't even realize how bad my shoulder really was. But yesterday, after like lifting a bunch of stuff, I was like, I don't know. I was in so much pain, I had to lay down. It was silly. But hopefully it'll be done soon. So hopefully I'll I go to see the chiropractor next week. Hopefully it'll be. I think I have a pinched nerve, either that or somebody mentioned that from the way my pain is radiating that I've done something to my rotator cuff. So I'm kind of hoping it's just the pinched nerve part because I don't know about the rotator cuff thing. Anyway, back to my texture paste. I'll show you next week and I'll give you a recipe for it before we start so you can do it with me and um, it's just acrylic paint I either baby powder uh, white acrylic paint you could use really any color but white acrylic paint baby powder or baking soda and some glue but you need to use a permanent glue like blue all aliens tacky glue something like that you don't want to use a uh, water soluble glue because you want to be able to paint over it you know what I mean you want to be able to and if you use a water soluble glue sometimes it it doesn't work like that I don't the shopping around now kind of stresses everyone out, Tiffany. So I can totally relate. I mean, definitely the shopping the shopping can stress everyone out. At least I think so. I don't know. What do you guys think? Does shopping stress you guys out at this time of year? It usually stresses most people out. I don't know anybody that's really immune to the to the shopping to the Black Friday shopping extravaganzas. Do you guys? So that's what I'm going to buy myself for those metallic rubs. I'm buying myself that for, for my Christmas present to myself. 
And I think I asked Hottie to make me an angel stamp, so I think that's what he's going to do. I think he's going to make me an angel stamp, which would make me very happy. Angel wing stamp. Like, carve me some angel wings. He's a really good drawer. He draws really beautiful things. And I just, I I don't know. We were talking about, because we make each other stuff. I don't know what, I, you know what he wants? He wants this book that I made. And because uh, when I was cleaning up my craft space, he was like, I love that book. Jillian, I can relate. I can't do crowds very well either. What's no fun? I miss him. You're doing something different, Lucinda? What are you doing? Jane, I totally get it. Liz wants, wants, yes, or spray sealant. You can totally get spray sealant. You know what? A couple of years ago when I lived in Las Vegas for my five minutes of living there, I did not, I was working. I worked every day. You know, I worked all the time. I, I was working, running a company and I had these crazy hours and it was Black Friday and I didn't realize it. We had just moved there in like October and I needed something. I don't even know what I needed. Or maybe it was Thanksgiving Day. I don't know. It was either Black, Black Friday or Thanksgiving Day. And I didn't even realize it because I was working. And I went to the store and it was horrible. It had to be Black Friday. It, it was horrible. It was so ridiculous. And it was, I was like, what? It looked like a war zone. It totally looked like a war zone. So I can relate to not wanting to go out and do anything. I can so relate to that. And the crowd thing, I can really relate to that too. Because it does get to you after a while. Okay, I'm going to let my tags dry a little bit and try to clean off my, try to clean them off a little. My stencils. Yeah, it can get to you. It can totally get to you. I completely understand. Completely understand. So the texture piece, if you guys want to do it, we'll do it next time. You just need a cheap acrylic paint, some glue, and you need a small container to mix it up in. You need a project, a small knife or a spatula, and we'll try to use it up. Because the thing is, is that when you make your own, at least the ones that you buy at the store have some sort of preservative in it or something in it so that they they stay viable. If you when you make your own, I guess you just have to make sure that you made your air that your containers airtight. I just find it's better to just make a small batch and use it. Does that make sense? So I've been thinking about my secret sister. I don't know if I'm going to add a journal cover to inside of it for her. I mean, I'm not going to put it in a journal, but thinking about that. Hi, Clara. Texture paste just adds dimension. So if you make multi, if you make mixed media, I make big, large mixed media pieces. And by big and large, I mean like, you know, six feet by eight feet. Like I've made some that big. And you want to, so you want to add some dimension to it, but you don't want to add like a foreign object to it. So it just adds dimension to your work. And if you use it through a stencil, it looks super cool. You know, but for this kind of small stuff, you, you know, you, you don't need the kind of big mixed media. Anyway, and it's also on a budget. So if you wanted to do it, you know, with very little money, to spend very little money on it, it would be great to use, um, it would be great to use a texture paste. Adds like dimension to it. Uh, you'll see next time. And you, you can just lurk and watch and do your own thing. And then if you wanted to join in the following time or whatever, you could. I should have, when I was cleaning up my stuff, I should have gotten out the texture paste, the tags that I made. So I want that and I want some stencils. That's what I, I, I want to buy myself some stencils. I can make myself some stencils, but sometimes some of the really super intricate ones you see are awesome, you know? Hi, cat. Yeah, you, the paste you make is better, and it does hold up better. You're right, I agree. 
Sky says, Shelly is my son, says, Ma, you'd be buying yourself things with Christmas coming. <laughs> you should be. Should you be? Oh, your, your son's saying, should you be buying yourself things with Christmas coming? You know what? You guys, okay, so my, my daughter that's 19, you know, the one that goes to college here, and I think I think she may be going to college in um, on the mainland come January, um, come winter break, but we'll see. I'm, fingers crossed, okay? Anyway, she bought for herself. Yesterday, she did the whole, when she came home last night, she had already bought for herself. She doesn't wait for people to buy her things that she wants. So um, for Christmas, I'm just going to make her something and then just give her a little money. That's what I'm doing. My oldest one, she doesn't want anything. I'm just going to send her money. It's just the 11-year-old. And Hottie and I are just going to make each other something. I, I really don't want anything. Good night, Shannon. Come over and join our Facebook group if, if you haven't already. And we're happy to see you. And thanks for joining us. We'll be back on Tuesday at the same time. So see you then. Happy Happy Thanksgiving weekend. Happy Black Friday for those non-shoppers. Good night, Grace. You bought yourself a Carrick? Ooh, I love the Carrick. I have a Carrick. But I don't use the pre-made things. I make my own. Yeah, I even have a jelly plate somewhere around here. Let me. See. I think I have my tiny jelly plate. Let me see if I have it. I usually have it close by. But I cleaned it. You guys, would be, I was so proud of myself. I really cleaned up my stuff. Um, is Stacy here? Stacy Deller, are you here on the on the on the um in the chat? So this is a really small jelly plate. It's a three by five jelly plate. And if you've never tried one, um, I love this small one. Okay. I love it. You should probably keep yours cleaner than I keep mine, but that's okay. I use mine all the time, so I can't say. Um, and I jelly plate, jelly print on everything. Okay. It usually comes with two protective coats of uh, plastic things. It doesn't matter. If you have a piece of plexi, you can. Uh, this one's kind of cool because you can use it like a stamp. We can jelly, we'll jelly print some on these tags. Um, I really like this small one because, you know, it's really versatile. Um, using super cheap acrylic paint. That's my favorite kind to use. You use what you want. You use any kind you have and things that you love. Just because I like it different, don't, you know. I put my paint directly on the jelly plate. Some people brayer their paint. Mm, that would be good. I do need a brayer. Hang on a second. Let me get a brayer. I wasn't really thinking of jelly printing, so I didn't have all my stuff over here. Um... See. You need a brayer. You don't have to have a brayer. You can just spread it out with a credit card, but I like using a brayer. Who has a call? Susan, are you talking about me? No, I didn't have a call. I just got up to get my brayer. I didn't have wasn't sitting down with a brayer. Okay, I like, you guys, everybody's jelly printing experiences are different. And there's no right or wrong to get one and try it. It's just super fun. Okay, I don't know what kind of brayer this is. This is a speedball brayer. I've had it for a long, long time. Okay, so you want to spread your paint out. The kind of cool thing about a jelly plate, or what I find cool about a jelly plate, now this has got a super thin coat. What I find super fun about a jelly plate is that you can do multiple layers on something. All of these things are jelly printed. Let me find, I wanted to, mm -hmm. you guys, this is what happens when you clean up. You don't have all your stuff by you. Mm -hmm. 
wanted to, let me just see if I, I don't even have a good hole punch. I hope this one works. What I thought I would do is I'd show you some sort of masking things that I sometimes do, but you can do it any way you want, okay? So the cool thing about a jelly plate is that <coughs> you can print on fabric using your jelly plate. It's mono printing, so even though you are printing, technically it's sort of like one of a kind. I don't think I have my good, I don't know where my good hole punches are. You guys, I really cleaned up because I was having company and because I was like, I really got into it. And can I tell you, I don't, I don't have all my stuff here. This is like always par for the course. I want some. Okay, I'm going to use these holes, these little, these little circles, and I'm going to put them down on the jelly plate. So wherever the circle is, the ink won't be there. Does that make sense? I'm going to add a few more. And we'll do some layers on this thing with jelly printing. This would be, this is a fun thing, way to do your art a day or tag a day or whatever it is that you're going to do if you're going to do it with me. Now, I'm not going to, I'm going to pick the tags up in a few minutes, but what's going to happen is, you'll see, hopefully I put up, an, hopefully I put enough paint on there. I'm do it on this white one. Well, here, this one's a little bit, sorry guys, I have my mess going on. No, I can't art neat. Okay, I'm gonna lay my jelly, my tag down and rub. Now where the dots are, there shouldn't be, there won't be any paint, and where there isn't, there will be. Can you guys see? Now I can do another layer on top. I can take these off and Now you can get a jelly print plate any just about any size. You can also make your own jelly plate. You know, it's uh, completely up to you. So what's cool about that is, let's go back and put a little blue paint on here. And usually I have, which I don't have here right now, but I'll find one. Usually for me, I use an old book as a roll-off point for me. So what else? What I, I might do here too is I might add my blue dot, add some of my dots back in different places on this jelly plate, and And then I'm going to lay my tag back down. Pull it up. What do you guys think? Pretty cool, yeah? <laughs> Tammy says, Tammy, I love you. Please don't straighten out the mess in my room. You will confuse me and mess up my whole day. Sister, you and I are on the same page. That is my life. Please, please don't touch my stuff. <coughs> so, the cool thing about a jelly plate is no matter, even if you use the same colors twice, you will not get, you will not be able to get the same print no matter what. Cool, yeah? So a jelly plate is so fun. You guys, it's as addictive as painting papers, okay? I think a jelly plate is definitely as addictive as painting papers, okay? Now you can use anything for a mask, and you don't have to mask it. You can also stencil, put a stencil down. I mean, it's fun. You guys are, you know, and if you want, if you look on YouTube, you're going to see some amazing jelly printed. There's lots of people that do jelly, uh, use a jelly plate, and there's lots of really amazing uh, YouTube artists that um, show you. And even Jelly Arts will have a, Jelly Arts will have a, Jelly Arts will have, they have their own, 
your own site. Now, this is my favorite tool, and one of you guys told me it's a Tupperware, a Tupperware pot cleaner. I don't know where I got it. Somebody, I think, either gave it to me or got it at a thrift store. You guys, sometimes I buy things just because I think they'll be cool, but I don't remember buying it, so I have a feeling somebody gave it to me. And then they make really cool. I love that's my favorite tool. But you could also do the same thing with a piece of cardboard. You could cut notches in it, or you could do it with, uh, or you could do it with a. Um, you could cut, cut notches in it, or you could do it with a credit card that you something plastic. You could do it with. Um, I'm sorry, I was looking to see if I could just take some of this paint that I have over here off of, the, off of my palette and put it on here. I'll take some of my white paint too. Anyway, there's really, jelly printing is subjective and as far as like how you use it and what you want to do, I, you know me, I vote no rules, so I vote figure your, figure your own voice out and do it your way but you, you can see some really cool demos like on um, jelly arts has some cool demos okay that's what what do you guys think pretty cool yeah what are you guys saying i'm missing it Oh my God, Constance! I hope you don't have. I don't hope you don't have a bad. You have a rotator cuff injury. Oh my God! I have to tell you, you guys. I have a very high pain tolerance, but can I tell you this one? This is beyond the ridiculous, and it is so painful that I can't. I don't even. I can't even describe it to you guys how painful it is. And it's at some time. Yesterday, I bent down to pick something up off the floor. We're talking like nothing even heavy, and I don't know what I did. But however I did it and however I torqued my body, I like put myself into like tears. I was in so much pain. I was like, okay, I got to be figuring this out because this is like too painful for, for this. Okay, when I jelly print on magazine pages, what I like to do is I like to take the ones that I like to print on stuff that like maybe nobody would ever like that you wouldn't use for anything or you wouldn't cut up for a... And I like dark ones, but this one's not so dark. This blue one's not so dark, but you'll get the idea. So, like, watch. So, like, I take things that are plain, or even you can do it with dark black paint if you wanted to do it. And I use my small one. You can use it like a stamp, right? But look at the cool textures that you can make. And I cut up all these type of elements and put them in my collage work. And where's my best friend over here, Miss Linda? Miss Linda, Miss Painty Paper Queen, the Queen of Painty Papers, Miss Linda. Miss Linda, this would definitely take your, if you don't already use one, take your painty papers to a different level if you want to paint on magazine pages to use for your torn paper collages that you're making, which are stunning, by the way. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Stunning, stunning, stunning. So... You know, and just go for it, you know. There's no right or wrong. Just keep going until you like it. You don't own a jelly plate? Okay, Miss Linda, that is the one thing Santa Claus needs to bring you for Christmas is a jelly plate. You can buy one. You know what? Right now, I'm sure that there, one of your craft stores that has them has a coupon for one, or has a coupon for something off. So even my craft store here that's so expensive, that is out of this world expensive, I got a 40% off coupon in the mail today to be used, I think, next week. And Hadi asked me what I wanted, and I said, you really want to know what I want? I said, they've got a giant jelly plate. I want to say it's like, I don't know, it's big. So I think it's the largest one that they make, and it's like $70. I said, that's what I'd like. I'd like that jelly plate. And I said, and now that I have the 40% off coupon, he says, okay, I'll be there. I'll go get it. Hopefully they'll have it in when he goes to get it. But 
Jamie, it's worth it. Especially because you make tags for your soaps and stuff. Girl, you could make all kinds of cool tags for your soaps with this jelly plate. Talk about addictive. You just wait. Jelly plates are so addictive. Jane says she used to monoprint using a heavy mat. Yeah, monoprinting. You can. There's all kinds of different things. I've monoprinted using, you know, those styrofoam trays that you get for vegetables. You know what I'm talking about? Like when you're, go the. They put them on meat too, but I wouldn't suggest you use a meat tray. If you're gonna use a meat tray, you gotta bleach it and everything else. So, I don't usually use those. But they have make the same. Unless you can go to the butcher and get them to give it to you without anything on it you know if you can say hey can I have one of those meat trays without a without any meat you know a clean one that hasn't been used is it 12 by 14 Pam I don't know but it's big that's the one I want that is what I'm gonna use my 40% off coupon for he tried to buy me one last year or the year before I can't remember and the lady wouldn't give it to him with a coupon and then he went in and saw the manager okay so from an unusable magazine page to like what I view as usable because I love these textures and that's how I get all these on that's how I do these too these are all jelly printed hang on you guys I got I know somebody's gonna say something about my paintbrushes and water don't worry I won't leave them in there that long it's just for right now because that paint will dry on them um like these were unusable in my world, unusable magazine pages, but now I think they're usable because I can cut bits and pieces off of it and use them in my collages. So, do you have a small one, Diana, and you haven't used it? Then go for it. You need to use it. It's like per it is a perfect size for tags. This one you can use like a stamp, which I love that. I love that option to use it like a stamp. I don't even have a roll-off book over here, you guys. I'm so proud of my cleaning up. I wasn't like thinking about. Right? So you can use those in, in your collage work. And especially Miss Linda. Have you guys checked up her collage work lately? It's so gorgeous. She does amazing collage work. And I think that you could really add some elements to your collage work using your jelly, jelly plate. Cat, it's very addictive. It is fun. There are recipes to make your own. Where I live, I can't get the. I can buy one with a coupon cheaper than I can make one. The key, but one. If Diana's on here, are you here, D? So one of our other crafting mamas, she has made her jelly plate, and she's used it for a couple of years now. And the difference between a store bought one and a made one is a store bought one you have you can. A store about uh, made one you make yourself, you can remelt down. You can remelt down. So see, if you were gonna join the tag a day challenge, you could use your jelly your jelly plate, and you'd already have you'd already have some of your tags done if you if you wanted to, right? If you wanted to if you wanted to to, to use it like that. I enjoy I like my jelly plate. I like it a lot. I have big, I have a couple, I think I have three of them. Some smaller one. I have, this is the smallest one I have. Um, so I want some. You can make you can make a lot of tags out of it. How many of you guys are into making your own like holiday, not just holiday tags, but your own tags for gifts or even give them away? I mean, <coughs> mine might be a little too out there and arty, but you know, if you wanted to use them for. Um, so it's good if you have a palette knife. I don't have one here. So there you go. No palette knife here. I one in the garage, but not out here. Okay. 
It is a fast way to lay backgrounds. It's also a fast way if you are um, if you wanted, especially if you like to. Do any of you art journal? I art journal. Although saying that, I haven't I haven't done anything amazing in a while. Guys, I've only had like. I haven't had like the kind of experience that I felt like I wanted to art journal about right lately. Although it's changed, so I guess I could just get back to it, but It's a fast way to lay down an art journal page, too. Okay. It's too dark now. Poop. I have a lighter one under here. You guys, I love, I love small art. Small art gives you the opportunity to share your love for creating without having to make a commitment to like a finished product. It's just like, like experimenting with how you feel and what you think and what it looks like for you and, and that sort of thing. So, I mean, I dig it like that, but you guys can take it any way you want. Like, you know, I like the opportunity to art small. I really do. I think arting small for me is super fun. Guys, I have a mess. See, I can't art. I can't art neat. I don't care. I can try. I always make a grand attempt to art neat, but it just doesn't work out. It does not work out. My arting neat is just like ridiculous. It doesn't happen this brayer for so long you guys I think I've had this brayer <laughs> like 25 years it's ridiculous yeah using a brayer a brayer is worth investing in it lays your paint or ink or whatever you're using super thin <coughs> and the cool thing about the thin layers is thin layers are how you can lay multiple layers on something you know, thin layers are how you can lay multiple, multiple layers on your, multiple layers on your plate, multiple layers in your work, you know, without, because if, when you use acrylic paint in a thick form, it sometimes flakes off. So multiple, it gives you an upper, I don't know. I like using a brayer. You guys use what you like. It just, it definitely gives you an opportunity to lay your paint, paint thin, which I like. Thin paint works good for me. Thin paint works good for me. Boston was a success, Lisa. It is done. It is done. I, I can't even tell you. I am over the moon and excited and hopefully I have to go back one more time but hopefully it can be when it's warmer and I'm done I'm completely done thank you for asking but I am you know what you guys I'm so glad it's over I can't even tell you it's like feels like a lifetime ago is that ridiculous but it does it feels like a lifetime ago if you have a palette palette knife works good to lay your paint down on here too if you want to use, um, you know, to lay it before you brayer it. You guys, I'm like so over it. I'm like happy that it is done. I'm happy it's done. Usually I would have much more of a palette going on here, but I don't. You know what I mean? Uh, things to jelly print on. 
You know, I haven't used coffee filters on a jelly plate. That would be a good. That would be something good to to check it out, Malia. I don't know. Good art experiment. Has anybody else used a coffee filter on a jelly plate? I haven't. But try it. Why not? So if any of you do go and do any any uh, holiday shopping this weekend, and you head to Old Navy, I see somebody writes uh, writing about their space and there is limited and drawing space and that sort of thing. So I don't have any right next to me, but I'll show it to you next time. I have it in the other room. I they throw away their hangers. Don't even get me started about reuse, renew, recycle stuff because that'll just like get me all upset. But they. Um, I'm sorry, you guys, I'm cleaning off my jelly plate and I'm cleaning off my brayer with a wet wipe. They use, they do not recite, they, those hangers that, that you can, that you buy, that they have hanging in their clothes, they throw them away. Okay, I, I don't even get me started. So, when I was in there one day, they have great pants hangers. They have like clips on them. Yeah. I got a handful of pants hangers and some others and you can stack them up like you would, you know, putting them, you can hang them in a row, right? One, one hooking into the next, into the next, into the next. They make great painty paper, um, they make great painty paper hanging up painty, chili prints or painty papers or whatever. They make really good, um, really good things like that. So I'm just sharing it with you. Okay, so besides my mess that I have going on here with my paintbrush and my tiny jelly plate, I have four tags in progress. So you can imagine how you could do a tag a day, you know? You could imagine how you could do one tag a day and it would be a success. Don't you think? Can't you imagine how you would do one tag a day? I can, I can imagine how you do one tag a day. I can totally imagine how you do one tag a day. So you just have to just have to get on it and enjoy yourself. Give yourself your 15 minutes and go for it. So what I was telling you about the jelly, handmade jelly plate that you make, that, you know, Diana keeps remelting hers down. She says it actually works better after you've melted it down a couple of times. So there you go. So she uses it, and I don't know when she decides to remelt it, but she does, and that's, what she, that's how she uses it. So I think that's awesome. And so if you guys want to, there's tons of crafters, and there's tons of recipes online. Lots of different people have them. Lots of, <laughs> lots of different people have. <laughs> you guys, the dog is like really missing my daughter. She's like wanting to go outside so bad and play. She is so desperate to go. She's so funny, but she's so desperate to go outside to play. She wants to go out. And so, so I'm just using it as a stamp pad too, and then I'll also use the image that's left on the jelly plate. But I'm liking, I wanted to, I wanted some dark stamping on here, but I didn't want the dark stamping with, um, it would want so much paint on it, you know, so brayering it off of my jelly plate and using it as a stamp pad. Like, I love this one. I found some cool word to put on it. I would definitely put something on the back, maybe journal on it. Dryer sheets, is that what you're talking about, Mary Kay? You've been making huge tags? I love tags. You're so funny. Your three-year-old blows on the paper, Malia. Oh, how cute.
You saw for people trying to make space in their closets, Jeff. Yeah, but that's what I mean. That's what I use when I hang my papers. I do. They're everywhere, but they're but they're hanging. They're all hanging in one area. Jane says she wants to use file folders and do painting paper style, and then cut them into tags. I've done that, Jane. It works great. It works great. So I'm liking my tags so far. I'm liking them. I'm just going to put this tag. This tag's sort of the free-for-all tag, but I'm just going to lay it down on here and we'll just see what comes up. So I'm going to make a tag a day and then I am going to, I'll just tell you what my new year plans are and then you guys can pipe in and tell me what your new year plans are. So I've been making a I'm sorry about the dog barking, you guys. I can't do anything about it. The kids are outside and she wants to see nuts. I think it's looking cool. And then stop. Stop. You can't go out. Stop. She wants to, she so desperately wants to go out. I'm going to see if I can get her to sit with me. Charlie, come over here, please. You can't go out and play. I'm so sorry, but you can't. The kids are out, but you can't go. Okay? The kids are out, but you can't go. Come on. You're not in trouble. But I don't want you barking the whole time, okay? Can you not bark? Can you sit in my chair with me and not bark? Sit down. So what's super fun is that there's no right or wrong in this, and you didn't have anything. Susan's not, Susan's not, what? What happened? Shelly, Susan isn't paying attention or painting papers. Susan, are you paying attention or painting papers? <laughs> what, what does she need to be paying attention to, Scotty? What did I miss? You feel ashamed you have so much paper? Why, Jane? Enjoy it. I would ignore her. <laughs> okay. You guys are so funny. I'm missing, I'm missing all the talk. Has anybody ordered anything from that um, company Wish? Have you guys have you guys ordered anything from Wish? <coughs> Hush! You're not going out. Shh. I think she thinks if she barks that they'll come and get her. Okay, I think that's what she thinks. Okay, so these are my tags so far, and I'm liking them, and they're all a little bit different, and that's the whole point. The whole point is a tag a day. You've ordered from Wish? You love them, Malia? Okay, well then, what have you ordered? I'm Pity Pat Pat. <laughs> I am Pity Pat Pat. Holly calls me Pity Pat Pat, definitely. This is somebody asked last night when they were here, because... You guys, my art, remember I told you I moved my art room and then I have all these boxes and then my art room's partially, haven't unpacked it yet. <coughs> um, <coughs> you've ordered dyes and washies and stencils. Ooh, Malia, what kind of stencils did you order? You know I want some stencils. I want some stencils. Malia's wish says one month shipping, but it usually takes two weeks. Well, that's good. Jane's not ordering anything. She has enough. Marina Wilson also loves wish. Oh, good. I missed everything as a dollar, Lucinda. Oh, that's cool. Mary Lou said she's ordered, but she hasn't gotten it yet. Hi, Jillian. Hope you sleep good, Jillian. You got die cuts from Wish? Oh, awesome. Are they good? Mary Kay, would you recommend them? I want to. I want some women's faces, but I don't even think I have my magazines over here. You guys, I am so, like, it's like ridiculous. This is what I get for cleaning up. This is what I totally get for cleaning up. I clean up my space, and then I get... I, I want something, and I don't have it anymore because I've cleaned it off my table. Guys, how ridiculous is that? Or I've cleaned it up. I cleaned
cleaned it totally out of my space. Most of my stuff is like now still in boxes, but not anywhere near us. So nobody could give me any grief about about the amount of stuff that I had in here. I'm gonna see if there's. A, I want a woman for hair. I want a woman's picture for hair. I don't have my fashion magazine. You ordered. Okay, Mary Kay says she ordered too much from Wish and had to cut yourself off. The shipping is crazy. The shipping mean it's 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 expensive. Is that what you're saying, Mary Kay? The shipping is expensive from Wish. You're not getting down. You're not going over there. The dog seriously thinks she's one of the kids outside. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I got a little distracted, Jamie. Um, I'm going to make tags. I'm going to do a tag a day challenge for the new year. Like every day, make one art tag. And like to and hopefully in arting 15 minutes a day. And, I'll, and I'm going to put a video of it up every day. 15 minutes a day of arting. And, you know, I'm going to start making tags this style because everybody can cut something into a rectangle. I may graduate to others and if I do I'll make a template for it and link it in the video so you could print it print it or come to Crafting Mamas on the Facebook group and print the template for the tag. With the thought and the idea of that you know you can document your day or you can write something about your day and instead of art journaling you know a big huge art journal page the idea would be like maybe maybe today my inspiration would be a word or something inspire or or get on with it or whatever and then maybe I would use that and make the piece of art and on the back take five minutes or two minutes or three minutes just to write something that is meaningful for me or something for me and You know, just, you know, just honor my day every day with a tag as opposed to honoring my day with a huge journal page, right? Because I don't know about you, but for, but for me, making a journal page can be, you know, if you, if you don't have the time to do it and then you miss one day and you want to do every day, whereas just if I, if I start at the beginning of my week and I've cut out seven tags and every day I give myself a 15 minute goal to do a little piece of art and maybe an additional two or three minutes to write down five things that I enjoyed about my day or I don't know something I learned or something that made a great impression on me or maybe a movie I watched or um, I don't know so that's my goal and I'm gonna make a tag book as well but I'm gonna make the tags first oh, this is a cool picture I love this um, you guys, the dog is now going crazy. She's sitting in my chair with me, and now she all she wants to do is get down, but I know she's going to get down apart. Lay down and stop yourself right now. Lay down and stop yourself. Okay, this is not a face, but I think I might like this in my... I like this. You can't go out. The, the kids are riding their bikes up and down the street, and she desperately wants to go out. You guys, this is so ridiculous. This is how my day rolls. Now you guys see it firsthand. Hmm. Here I go on this one. And now I'm liking this. I like the um. You guys hear the kids skateboarding outside? They're all skateboarding and the dog wants so desperately to be down there with him. She wants to. You can't go out, boo. I'm so sorry. She wants to go out, but she can't. Anyway. What did you guys talk about? You know what? Somebody, somebody posted, was it you, Tiff? 
Tiff posted a link in one of my videos a couple of weeks ago, maybe it was, maybe the last three or four videos, and it had in there about somebody using a rolling pin. You need a, I think you needed a mouse, was it a mouse pad that they used, Tiff? And a rolling pin, and they use their, di use their dies. Not the Biggs dies, but those little Thinlets dies. And that's what they used. That's how they, instead of having a die cutting machine. Remember we were talking about it and I said, I've never heard of that. And remember, I don't know what day, what, you, you guys will remember more than me, I think, what day we talked about it. But we talked about it and anyway. So that's one thing I'm gonna do for the new year. The other thing is um, I'm going to, I'm definitely going to do the tag a day for the new year. And I'm, then I think I'm also going to do a visual journal. And if you guys want to make along with me, I will, that'll be something we'll do. I don't know if I'll introduce it during the Christmas holidays or we'll do it after the first of the year. So. It's not dark here yet, you guys. It's only 540. It gets dark about, in the summertime, it gets dark about 7, 7.30, I think is the brightest it stays. I mean, at 7.30 is the latest it stays, um, but it's not dark here. It gets dark here, it'll probably be dark in the next 20 minutes, maybe it's 6.15, I don't know. You know, the, the whole thing with me with the tag as well is that sometimes we judge ourselves so harshly in the art we make, especially if it's big art. Whereas if you're making small art and it's really nothing except more about having a good time and expressing yourself and, you know, enjoying the process, the judgment is not there as much. Would you not agree? The judgment's not there as much if, when you're just, you just want to enjoy yourself. I want something for this tag. So that's just what I'm thinking. That is what I am thinking. <coughs> but, you know, you guys have to decide what you, you know, like you have to decide like where, how invested you are in the end result. If you're invested in an end result, then maybe it wouldn't be for you. But if you're just invested in, I would like to try that. That would be actually a really fun experiment for myself to see, you know, how and what and where and and if I would like to, you know, how it feels and what I'd like to do. Then that's a different situation. You know what I mean? All right, you guys, I'm going to find my cards. Where are my cards that I had here? I was going to, my Project Life cards, I was going to alter her there. I'm going to do some of these because I've got some cool kind of collage stuff. So with these Project Life cards, when I start to look at them, first of all, if you guys Project Life, awesome for you. I don't Project Life. But I do like the cards because I like to journal on them. I like to include them in my art journals. I like to uh, use them for small art the same way I do a tag. Um, I think they're kind of fun. Okay, so that's what I do with them. But, you know, you guys have to understand for me, it's more about the fun and the process and so much less about the end result. So I'm not scared or I don't get intimidated if they don't turn out good. I don't have like a, a thing if I don't like them. I just move on. I just, I, I just frankly go, oh, okay, well, that one wasn't the best. So that technique was good or it wasn't. Let next, you know. Yeah, yeah, you need a, um, a self-healing mat. Those are the kind of mats that you would use. You get them usually from a fabric store. You can get them from an art store, too. They might be cheaper at a fabric store, though. Um, a self-healing mat is like something that you would use a... Oh, my gosh, you guys, my head's a sieve. Something that you would use a rotary cutter on. Couldn't think about it for a minute. My head was like... I couldn't think of what, what it was actually called. Okay, I'm going to put... I'm still in love with this stamp, this Hero Art stamp. 
Carla turned us all on to it. Carla also has a video where she shows you how to make your own, and I have her stamp set somewhere around here. I didn't totally take it off my desk. Um, so that's what I'm going to small art. If anybody wants to join me on a tag a day, that is the whole idea. The whole idea is small art. Small art, small art. You're due the 27th, the 27th of December. Hi, Vicky Pearl. Molly, you're due December 27th or Janu January 7th, 27th. Okay, sorry. Oh, Malia, that's awesome. Okay, Jane says, never iron on your self-healing mat. I've never ironed on mine, so I couldn't, I, I appreciate the, uh, I appreciate the 411, Jane. I've never ironed on mine. Um, I just usually use it to use a rotary cutter. You can get them at big box stores, you guys. You can get a whole rotary cutting system at a big box store for not very expensive. But you can get the, the mat there. You can probably even get it on Joann's and use one of your crazy coupons, right? For those of you that are coupon, coupon ladies like myself, you can get one at Joann's as well. And I know one of you guys is going to say, okay, what do you do with this card? Okay, what is my, what is my complete and always rote answer? Anything you want. You've been lurking, Vicky. Did you have a good Thanksgiving? All right, all you lurkers, say hey. So you can do anything you want, you guys. I usually leave, well, I got paint on the back of that one, but it doesn't really matter. I usually try to pick something on the back that I feel like you could journal you could journal on or you could journal with, but it doesn't necessarily make it so. Like, I think I'll do, this one will be the front, and then they can, whoever, you know, like, you can journal on the back of it. So, hmm. So how many of you guys are, are, are entering into Na it's Nana's place, uh, her challenge? Did a lot of you, did a lot of you enter in? I hope you did. It's really nice to support each other, you guys. I think it's hard sometimes having a new YouTube channel and then when you start getting like subbies and stuff like that and people start, you know, giving to your channel or supporting you that way, you want to do something nice in return, right? So... Kind of, it's kind of nice to have the the giveaway. So her giveaway looks awesome. She has this huge box of stuff she's giving away. So if you haven't joined, go on over. You have to, you do have to submit a journal page, um, and she gives you all the details. If you go over and look at her video winner winner chicken dinner that's what it is that's the uh that's the video where she talks about her giveaway so she's doing a super good giveaway though i like it a lot You just started care. You just started your YouTube channel. No, I think you, for me, YouTube has been a great way because I live in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. So YouTube has been a great way for me to meet a lot of like-minded, crafty people who want to share their love for paper with art and jewelry making. I mean, I make jewelry as well. Although I haven't made anything in a while, you guys. 
may get some I'm gonna I have to sew some things soon so I'm gonna make some pockets for a journal cover and do some stuff like that I gotta gotta work on that I don't have any of my inks over here I left them all in the other room because I was having company as you guys know I was having company I don't even know if I have my man gun plugged in No, Jean, I don't have a tip jar. I guess I could put one. I, you know, I don't know. I haven't, I haven't, I should, Jane. You're right, I should. I've been sort of toying with the Patreon account. Do any of you guys, I support people on Patreon. Do any of you guys? First of all, do you know what Patreon is? That would be the first thing, right, before I, like, start asking you. I've been kind of toying with the Patreon thing for a, for a long while now. But I've been seriously, I've been considering it more as of late than I than I had earlier. Um, where I would do, you know, specific videos for Patreon members and that sort of thing. And maybe projects, you know, make-alongs and that sort of thing. So I've been kind of toying with that. I support people on Patreon. To, to any of you, to any of you have your favorite, any of your favorite artists have Patreon accounts. Patreon is the thing where, like, you pledge a certain amount of money a month to support an artist, and they give you free content, and they do some sort of members-only content, which I think is great. You know, so you know, it, it it's a way like it keeps you from not having any sort of like. Um, trolls or spammers and that sort of thing because <clears throat> quite frankly you know you have to in order to uh, you know you get a private login and that sort of thing and you can do patreon only events and anyway I have a few people that I support via patreon but no Jane I really haven't I haven't really I haven't really put a lot of energy or thought into it, but I know I need to, and I appreciate you bringing it up. Just one more reminder that I'm not doing it, right? I mean, occasionally I sell things in my Etsy store, but not... You guys, I used to have a big Etsy store. I used to make lots of jewelry, and I had a, a very successful Etsy store, and then I just got kind of burned out. And also you can't compete, when you make handmade things, you really can't compete with things that are made in China. And people, let's just say fashion jewelry is, is an easier make than uh, I mean, fashion jewelry is an easier, Patreon is a no for you. Well, for me, like there are artists that I really love. Okay, and and I support them via Patreon because and it's not very much. It's like some t maybe it's twelve dollars for the year or whatever, but they bring good content, and so I enjoy it. It has been worth it so far. Tammy, you do? You do? Yeah, Inky Quill, I love Inky. Yeah, Adele, I love her. It's been, she gives amazing content. She gives amazing content here on YouTube, too. Bye, cat. Why are you fussing? If you're going to keep barking, then I'm not going to put you down. If you want to sit in my lap and be quiet, I'm happy to have you here. The dog has decided she's going to cry. So. Um, anyway. Well, you guys can see where I started today. So, I mean, I know the debate is out uh, about, you know, like, supporting artists and art. Um, you know, I just... Right now, I've just been doing this for my own fun. I mean, I still do have my own, you know, for the own, my own fun of it. Yeah. You know, Patreon, I think, is like a... It's like, it's like a way 
it's like a way that is um that you know that you can support people that you really like yeah i put i showed some of it i'll show it again on tuesday because i have more for my secret santa <clears throat> Hi, Kate. You're more likely to use a tip jar. Okay, Jane, well, I'll take that in consideration, and I may add one. I mean, I just don't want anybody to feel like they had to do it, but I, I hear what you're saying. I hear, I totally understand what you're saying, and I get it. And I, pre and first of all, I appreciate you even bringing it up, because it's like, it's kind of an odd, it's sort of an odd topic, you know, for, um, not an odd topic, but I'd say an awkward topic. Um, anyway, so, you know, I appreciate it, you know? I appreciate that you bring it up. I really do. So, anyway... Yeah, YouTube has a thing where you can put a tip jar down. YouTube YouTube has a YouTube has a thing where you can put I don't know exactly how it works. Jane, maybe you can explain it to everybody. I know that there are a few people that use it. Like a few people that I that I enjoy watching that use it. And I know um I know that um, I know that Tracy, Tracy uses it. Nana, it's Nana's place. She uses it. Or she just got it. I don't know. We had a conversation about it the other day. She told me she just got it. So I thought that's pretty cool. You know? I think she's also going to start selling her journals and stuff like that. So I think that's really a great... Yeah, no, I mean, it, it can help you pay for more supplies. I mean, that's 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 the truth. I mean, I don't know anybody. Maybe there's people that make a ton of money off their YouTube channels, but I don't really know that many. You know, I mean, you have to put out a huge amount of content before any of those. Um, or before any of those channels make a difference. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, before any of that sort of thing makes a difference. If you if you if you if you start a YouTube channel thinking you're going to be making money, that's unless I think you're a sensationalist or you're a you know you're something like you have more to you know what I mean. Unless you're like going to do say something or do something shocking, I don't know if it is really I don't know if it really pays off. I know it's a lot of I know it's a lot of um, I know it's a lot of, you have to get a lot of views for the content, you know. Yeah, I like Lindsay. I do. The Frugal Crafter, I like her a lot. Well, I've made my life, I've made my living as an artist most of my life. I wouldn't say as a paper crafting artist. I mean, that I've done some books and made some, like, handmade books and stuff like that. Mostly making jewelry and sculptures and painting. But I wouldn't say it's through social media. Generally, for me, like, I owned my own gallery for a while. And that I did really well. When I lived in New York, I owned my own gallery and I, and I did really, really well. Um, for the most part, the other stuff, I, you know... I think if you talked with her really personally, one on one, I think you what you would find out is that the money that she makes as an artist, most of the money she makes, is from the sponsorships and the advertising that she gets on YouTube. I would I would bet most of my I would bet most of the the money to say that she doesn't she doesn't make a living selling her art. 
or that's how I've made my living over my lifetime is selling my artwork. Now, you know what? I'll show you guys. I'll, I'll pull out some jewelry that I've made and I'll show you. It's not like regular jewelry. It's not, I don't know. Um, you know, and owning a gallery, you know, I made my living that way as well. Good night, Jamie. I hope you feel better. I hope you have a wonderful night. You can tune into the energy work we're going to do in a few minutes. <coughs> but, you know, YouTube has opened up. YouTube has opened up a huge, large audience for people. Has opened up, you know, a larger venue. Good night, Jamie. Um, it, it's just giving you a wider, broader audience of people to meet and be in touch with and, and that sort of thing. Jamie, are you doing okay? I've been sending you lots of good vibes, so I hope things are going well for you or better. Good night, Malia. If you could drain your brain, I totally understand, Malia. I totally do. So for those of you that want to do energy work, we're going to do that now. <coughs> so this was the beginning of my tags. So just the beginning. I'm going to work on them a little bit more. And um, so we'll, you know, for the arting part of our program. But Jane, I first of all, let me just say, I really appreciate your suggestions. I am so open um, to, to to that type of suggestion for myself. You know, I had sort of an epiphany after all this stuff happened and all the stuff that I've been, all the stuff that I've gone through in the past, whatever it's been, year now, that I'm not going to do anything that I don't love anymore. That I mean, that was the biggest thing. Um, and that whatever I choose to do, it's going to be 100% have to come from an organic feeling of where I am, you know, from, from, from what's going on in my life and how I'm feeling and, and that sort of thing. And I'm not going to do stuff that I don't love anymore because <clears throat> like many of you, I've done that for a really long time and I'm just not going to do it anymore. So I think that, good night, Mary Lou. Good night, Jane. So I think that is where I'm at for myself. But I appreciate the suggestions and everything that you're making, and I'll definitely look into it. And thank you for asking about that, Jane. I appreciate it. So for those of you that want to stay for the energy work, um, we're going to do a little bit of energy work. And you can send this energy work. Obviously, you receive it yourself because you're here. Um, and you can also share it with anybody you'd like. All you have to do is put them in your thought process. Now, if they have an, you know, energy work works like this, it's with conscious consent. So if somebody that you're sending it to doesn't really want to receive anything, then it won't affect them, right? And most people always love, would love a, a good, good vibe feeling, right? So all you have to do to participate is to... Say yes to yourself and just be open and um, sit in a comfortable place with your feet on the floor. And if you can't have your feet on the floor, awesome, Jamie. You'll chat me tomorrow. Okay, good. Um, also, Jamie, if you, uh, I mean, yes, definitely chat me and we'll catch up, okay? Um, and if you don't want to receive it, just say no. And you won't. Now, somebody said to me one day they didn't consent to the energy work, but they felt it. Well, we're connected. You're going to feel better, but you don't have to release anything. I mean, most of the work that I do with you is for an opportunity for you to let go of anything that's not working for you. So if you don't want to let go of anything, then you won't, right? But it doesn't mean that you won't feel the good vibes of feeling better or... Receive the benefits of a good thought or a prayer or something like that. Everybody, you'll you'll feel differently or you'll feel better, right? Just how it works. So anyway, 
sit with your feet on the floor. All you have to do is inhale through your nose and exhale out through your mouth. Sit with your feet on the floor. And if you can't sit with your feet on the floor, image your feet on the floor. That's it. Okay. And Claire's asking me what type of energy work to do. Well, Susan calls it the big marshmallow. Um, without getting into any great detail, um, you know, it's it's just like diamond light work. I don't know. Claire, it, it opens up a whole can of worms of who I am and what I do. And, but, um, kind of like Reiki. I mean, most people have heard of Reiki. You can kind of like Reiki with the exception of what I do is put the type of energy work that I enjoy doing most and find most beneficial is energy work that helps you, um, to be more in alignment with yourself, with your divine blueprint. Everyone's divine blueprint is different. With your divine blueprint helps you to put yourself back in alignment with you and whatever that means. So for each one of us, it's a little different. Everyone receives the same thing, but because we're all different, um, it may feel a little bit different, right? So that type of work, does that make sense for you? You know? Does that make sense? All I say is experience it and then you can tell me what it is. You can tell me what it means and what it feels like to you. For every single person, it's different. They'll feel something different, even if the energy is the same. Um, what I focus on when I'm working with you guys, as opposed to when I do larger, different types of groups, is I work on a clearing energy so that you can clear whatever is not serving you at this given moment. And only you know what that is. And so that you can receive or put yourself into a place of higher vibrational feelings, feeling better, and receive what you want in your life. Okay? Um, so... Put your feet on the floor and you can do this energy work with your eyes open or closed. I like to do it with my eyes closed. And all you need to do is to inhale through your nose and exhale out through your mouth. That is it. That is all it is. So image yourself in a pillar of light, in a column of light. This is your column of light. Your column of light. It extends around you six feet in all directions. When you look up, you can't see the top. And when you look down, you can't see the bottom. It's your light. I want you to image your pillar of light entering deep, deep, deep into the earth. And when your pillar of light has reached as easily and effortlessly and enjoyably as far as it can go, allow it to grow roots, big, large tree roots. Allow your tree roots to spread as far and as wide as you can easily, effortlessly, and enjoyably imagine. On the inhale, I want you to breathe in and we'll invite the earth, the earth energy, our, breath, our beautiful Mother Earth. We'll invite her energy into us and I image this energy as gold. But you can see, feel, think, or know this energy any way that works for you. Breathe in this beautiful gold earth energy and feel it rising up through your roots, deep into the earth, through the crust, through the mantle, through floor and entering in your feet and spreading six feet in all directions. Feel it filling your ankles and spreading, your calves and spreading, your knees and spreading. Feel it filling your thighs and spreading. And your hips 
and feel it pooling in the base of your spine. Feel this beautiful gold earth energy rise up through your lower abdomen, your waist, your heart, and your shoulders, upper arms, elbows, lower arms, wrists, and out of every finger. Feel this beautiful gold earth energy rising up to your throat, filling your face and your head and bouncing out the top of your head. Feel this beautiful gold earth energy, breathe it in. Breathe it in. And breathe it in. One more time, breathe in this beautiful gold earth energy. Now give yourself permission to imagine the highest point of creation, heavenly, angelic energy that you can easily, effortlessly imagine. And I see this energy like silver, beautiful silver diamond light that you can see, feel, think, or know this energy any way that suits you. Feel this beautiful diamond light energy pouring in the top of your head. Feel it filling your head, your neck, your shoulders, flowing down your spine, your upper arms, elbows, lower arms, wrists, and out every finger. Feel it filling your chest. Feel it filling your, your stomach. Feel it filling your lower abdomen. Feel this beautiful diamond light energy mixing with your earth energy at the base of your spine and traveling down your hips, thighs, knees, calves, and ankles and out the bottom of your feet into your tree roots. Ready? Feel it. Breathe it in. And breathe it in. And breathe it in. I want you to focus on the base of your spine. An image a ball of light in the base of your spine. We'll call this your first energy center. And on the inhale, I want you to breathe in and receive what it is that you need. And on the exhale, I want you to let go of anything else. Ready? Breathe it in. Breathe it in. Breathe in what you need to receive. And release anything else. Breathe it in. Breathe it in. And breathe it in. Allow your attention to rise up to your lower abdomen. See a ball of light there. Call this your second energy center. Breathe in and receive what you need. On the inhale and on the exhale, I want you to let go of anything that doesn't work for you. Ready? Breathe in. Receive what you need. And let go of anything else. Receive what you need. And let go of anything else. And breathe what you need. Receive what you need. And let go of anything else. One more time, receive what you need, 
I don't let go of anything else. Focus on your, your stomach area. Breathe in what you need. Receive what you need. On the exhale, let go of anything else. Receive what you need. And let go of anything else. Receive what you need and let go of anything else. And one more time. Receive what you need and let go of anything else. Let's focus on your first energy center at the base of your spine the second energy center in your lower abdomen, the third energy center at your navel center. And let's also focus on your fourth energy center, which is in your heart. Be balls of light in each one of those energy centers, the first being at the base of your spine, the second being at your lower abdomen, the third being at your waist, and the fourth being in your heart. On the inhale, I want you to receive what you need in each one of these energy centers. And on the exhale, I want you to release anything that doesn't work for you. Ready? Breathe it in. Receive what you need. And let go of anything else. Receive what you need. And let go of anything else. Receive what you need and let go of anything else. Receive what you need and let go of anything else. One last time. Feel it in your heart, your waist, your lower abdomen, and at the base of your spine. Ready? Receive in what you need. And let go of anything else. Focus on your throat, your fifth energy center at your throat. We're going to focus on your throat, your heart, your waist, your lower abdomen, and the base of your spine. Ready? Receive what you need and release anything else. Ready? Breathe it in and let go of anything else. Receive what you need and let go of anything else. Receive what you need and let go of anything else. And one more time, receive what you need. Feel it in your throat, your heart, your waist, your lower abdomen, and the base of your spine. Ready? Breathe it in and release anything else. Focus on your forehead. See a ball of light there. That's your sixth energy center. Focus on your forehead, on your throat, your heart, your waist, your lower abdomen, and the base of your spine. Ready? Breathe in what you need and let go of anything else. And breathe in what you need and let go of anything else. And breathe in what you need and let go of anything else. Good. 
one more time. Breathe in what you need. And let go of anything else. And one last time. Breathe it in. And let go of anything else. Focus on the top of your head. This is your seventh energy center. Be a ball of light at the top of your head, in your forehead, your throat, your heart, your waist, your lower abdomen, and at the base of your spine. Ready? Receive what you need on the inhale and release anything else. Receive what you need and let go of anything else. Receive what you need and let go of anything else. And one more time. Receive what you need and let go of anything else. And one last time, receive what you need and release anything else. Focus six feet above your head I want you to allow your body personality to receive what you need and your connection and your divine connection. I want you to feel this energy flowing through from six feet above your head, going through the top of your head, your throat, top of your head, forehead, throat, heart, waist, lower abdomen, and the base of your spine, and out the bottom of your feet. You should also feel this energy flowing out your shoulders upper arms, elbows, lower arms, wrists, and out your hands. Okay, ready? Breathe it in, six feet above your head. Ready, breathe it in. Receive what you need. One more time, receive what you need. And receive what you need. One last time. Breathe in, focusing on six feet above your head. Allow the energy to flow through your whole body and out your hands and feet and deep into your tree roots. Ready? Breathe it in. Breathe it in. Just focus on your heart. I want you to breathe in and receive what you need. Now on the exhale, I want you to send it out to anyone or any place that you feel may need it. It could be your home, your car, your job, your pets your plants, the land, the earth, the ocean, your friends, your family, anyone that you think could use a little boost. Ready? Receive in love and give in love. Receive in love and give in love. Receive in love. And give in love. Receive in love. And give in love. One 
and receive in love and give in love. I want you to image an infinity symbol starting way, way, way above your head. Feel it crossing in your heart, entering deep into the earth, and then crossing back into through your heart and meeting back where it started. I want you to receive the love of the divine. Ready? Receive it. Feel it crossing your heart, entering deep into the earth. I want you to give back the love to the divine. Receive in gratitude. Feel it crossing your heart, entering deep into the earth, and give back in gratitude. Receive in gratitude and in love, and give back in gratitude and love. Receive in love and give in love. One more time, receive in love and give in love. And when you feel ready, you can open your eyes and come back to yourself. And if you feel like sharing, please do. Some people feel certain things. Some people see things. Some people just have a knowing. There's no right or wrong. You can share what you feel or what you saw or what you think or what you know. It can be anything. There's no right or wrong. I don't know if you're still here, Clara, but if you are, maybe you can share what you experienced. Oh, that's awesome. Clara said, thank you. That was beautiful. Thank you for sharing that mindful energy. Oh, you're welcome, Care. Clara, what do you think? I don't know if you're still here. Your crown flew open. Awesome, Clara. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Very nice. Tiffany says she knew this. She feels like she's like I have done a lot of work with connecting with my. Oh, you feel like you've been connecting with your with your with your with your stepchildren and your partner. And you feel renewal for God and energy. Oh, that's so awesome. Care, that's awesome. You know, I always send it your oh with your blood. You feel like you've done connecting with your blood. Oh, very nice. Very nice to think. Yeah, I care you can send it to anyone. You know, right now I'm sort of focusing on the ocean, but I definitely, in times past, we've definitely sent it to those in need, especially in Puerto Rico and in Texas and in Florida and all the places that were hit by storms and natural phenomena. And, you know, everything that happens, even though we may not want to believe it, happens to lift us up, you know, so that we can step into a, into a, into a new, a more positive state. 
Sometimes it happens, Tiff. You know, it happens because your energy is, it's just taken you, it's shifted something in you, you know? I promise you'll come back to yourself. It takes a little bit, though. Susan calls it mar the marshmallow state. I've been doing it my whole life, so I don't, I don't necessarily notice it as much, you know, as being, but sometimes I do. What's really cool, Clara, is that the opening that you had will just continue. You know, it's not going to, it won't go away. It'll just continue. You know? So. <laughs> oh, big hugs to you too, Clara. I know that I love you. I do. Yeah, drink a lot of water, you guys, and if you eat protein, no matter what it is, vegetable or animal protein, eat it. Eat a lot of protein, drink a lot of water. Wow, Kara, that's crazy. Do you still live on a boat and it was destroyed by Hurricane Irma? Wow. You know, that happens, you know? If you if you join us on Tuesday, I'm, I'm also working on a December daily. I don't know if you guys do, any of you guys do December daily? I made myself one last year and I really loved it. And so I decided I'm going to make myself one this year. Yeah, Tiffany, it's kind of cool that you could send pe love to people that haven't been the best to you. You know, for me, what I find, and I don't know, test this and see if this works for you. I find that wherever I let my energy, like if I don't take it personally, allow people wherever they are to be however they are, right? But if I don't take it in, like if I don't buy into it, or as Hadi says, don't answer the phone. You know, then I don't know about it. I don't connect to it. So where there's no judgment is where I can find freedom for myself. You know, it's almost like if you don't know, it's like it's like being invited to a party. If you didn't know you weren't invited, how would you know if you missed anything, right? If you didn't know. So I just don't connect with it. I just let it go. And it tends to work really well for me. Oh, that's awesome, Grace. That's so awesome. That's very cool. Grace says that she felt like she was breathing in waves and that bring in healing and she's breathing out toxins. Very nice. That's awesome. That's so good. You know, the more we get clear, the more we're in alignment with our divine blueprint. And what's so cool about it is each one of our divine blueprints are different. You know, we may all be part of this same fabric of humanity, but each one of us have a different job to do here. And so I think that's super cool that, you know, you're letting go of stuff and you're breathing in the waves of you. And the more you allow yourself to just receive what it is that you need or want, and it can be anything, more peace, more love, more kindness, more financial support, more creativity. Yeah, my name is Shelly Care. Yes, that's my first name. That is my first name. Yeah. Yep. The more you are allow yourself to let go. See, you have to be as good of a receiver as you are a giver. And most of us, at least women, and then I'm not saying all women, and I'm not, it's not a generalization, but put it this way, most of the people that I know in my life, we're great givers, but we're not good receivers. Like we don't receive well. So you have to have both ends working well, like equally. Does that make sense? So, and you're giving and receiving for yourself. You know, so as you receive what you need, more support, 
in whatever way, may emotional support, physical support, mental support, financial support, whatever it is, more love, more kindness, more gentleness, more creativity, more joy, more fun, as you're receiving all that, right? And when you exhale and you release what doesn't work for you, you're also allowing yourself to receive and make space for that in which you want or need. And since we're all a little bit different, you know, we, um, you know, we all receive in a different way. I let go every single day. I work on it as much as I can. That's why you decided to play more and laugh more. And that's great, Kara. That's a great, that's so awesome. Good for you. It is fabulous because we do get what we focus on. You know, I, I would also suggest you guys turn the television off. I had the TV on yesterday for like a minute. Like, so we, we anyway, to make a ridic ridiculously long story short, we didn't really have television, but we've lived in this house for a while, and, and the house comes with cable, but I never hook it up. Like, I never hooked up. Like, I don't, you know what I mean? I don't turn it on. Yesterday, my older daughter's friends wanted to watch something and they turned on, they were here for quite a while and they turned on the television. I don't watch regular television. Um, primarily because it's so negative. And, you know, they turned it on and so we were all like, it was on. And I just thought, wow, it's been a really long time since I've watched TV. I don't know if you know what they wanted to watch, but I realized why I don't watch it. Just the energy from it. And so, turn the TV off, see if it makes you feel different. It actually works. Okay, my lovelies, I love you guys so much. Thank you for being here with me. Thank you for being on my journey. Thank you for being my crafty peeps. If you haven't joined our Facebook group, go on over and join it. It's called Crafting Mamas on Facebook. For those of you that are still hanging out and want to do, we're going to do, I'll put up a video tomorrow for a tag a day and I'll do one, maybe even less than 15 minute little art with some prompts and I'll share the prompts with you in the video. And I'm going to try to do it every day between now and next year. Um, also, I'm going to do, I promised you guys I'm going to do the 30 day energy work. I just haven't gotten the link up. So as soon as I get the link up, I'll put a video up about that or I'll tell you guys about it on Tuesday. Um, and anyone can join. It's 30 days of energy work free. It'll be a little bit like what we did tonight, but longer, more concentrated. And it'll be every day for 30 days. And maybe you guys might want to do it just to, for, especially during the holiday season when it can bring up a lot of anxiety and, and different things for many people. night care thanks for sharing we appreciate it so anyway you guys hey patricia happy to see you anyway my lovelies i will see you again on tuesday unless something unless spirit moves me and i'm get enough art done otherwise I'll, you'll see uh my 15 my tag a day starting tomorrow i'll do short videos on that too and as always, my lovelies, from my heart to your heart, I'm sending you so, so, so much aloha. Okay, take care, ladies. Have a wonderful, wonderful evening. Take care. Aloha.